capturing that sense of um, post-war question, where do we go now? And what's so interesting is that Sutherland and Bacon there's a really interesting relationship who was in France and who and almost at the same time France is depicting the people how oh, did you we bought a selection of works from our permanent collection um, uh, under the theme of the figure and uh, we've tried to be representative of the sort of um, the collections and uh, to give a sort of story around the involvement of the figure within British art. So starting from Sickert, working through to sort of Graham Sutherland, the more abstracted approaches, through to the Lucian Freud I'm standing by here. Um, showing the sort of breadth and depth of our collections, but also um, helping to show the way the figures inspired artists in many different ways. I think sort of British art has its sort of own character, um, but obviously influenced by what is happening in uh, the rest of the world. Uh, it's distinctively, I think there's a sort of eruditeness and intelligence about British art. It's slightly different, I think, from what happened in the rest of Europe. And uh, I think there's sort of, yeah, there's a sort of psychology and insight that you see, I think. We see here across the fair there's certainly a buzz and um, galleries have brought some very bullish, um, strong works at a very strong price point at the upper end and you know, with that there, it sends out a very strong and confident message to those serious collectors about the strength of the market and that now is, is a strong time to you know, make those acquisitions. I think there is definitely a sense that the market will continue to improve. Uh, we did a, a poll of research with our galleries just ahead of the fair and, and certainly um, there was a, a feeling that they didn't expect things to get any worse and that they felt positive. Um, they see that it's certainly um, important to them to continue to do fairs and I think uh, increasingly so for international galleries to have that platform in London and, and look at ways of, of galleries within the UK presenting themselves. Here what he wants to study, it's really the value of work and the immigration and how we see these people that, I mean, they pass every day through us. So he kind of puts vi very visual the value of that merchandising. I mean, it's a hundred dollars for really a lot of stuff. The place of photography in contemporary art is very important. I think that uh, the relationship between photography and painting is uh, it's deep and uh, they influence uh, themselves uh, both in both directions.